WWE fans just spotted another big clue for another potential Roman Reigns twist, so we'll see what everyone is saying. We'll also check out the latest for AJ Lee, Karrion Cross, and more. Starting things off with AJ Lee. AJ made a return to social media this week to make a handful of reveals about what she's currently working on to change about her appearance and look. AJ shared some photos of her arms, saying that her goal was to get big enough arms that she could scare people in the streets. She posted another photo shortly after that, saying that her blue-black hair had run its course for her, and that she'll be getting rid of that color hair soon. AJ has experimented with several different hair colors over the last few years, and it looks like she could be debuting a whole new look any day now. The Final Testament has been making some waves on SmackDown, but also dealing with some hard times as well. One of those hard times came recently on SmackDown when the Street Profits ended up defeating AOP. Now, we didn't get to see how Karrion and Cross and Scarlett dealt with this major loss on WWE television, but their reaction was shown in a WWE digital exclusive clip. The clip shows Karrion Cross absolutely losing his mind backstage, screaming at the top of his lungs out of frustration about how much he sacrificed up until this point. But it's Scarlett who calms him down, tells him to think, play it smart, and imagine what would happen if he was to get fired. Scarlett then asks Cross about what Bobby Lashley and him both have in common. That question lights up a bulb inside Cross's head, and he says that what he wants is also what Bobby Lashley wants. Scarlett really calmed him down so much that he instantly gets in a great mood and starts singing and dancing away, with Scarlett to end that digital exclusive segment. It was a very short moment, but a lot of fans in the comments seem to agree with that backstage clip between Karrion and Cross and Scarlett that it definitely should have been a part of the main SmackDown programming, because that clip together does show a lot about their characters and relationship dynamic. It's a one minute long clip, but in that one minute, we see the unstableness out of Karrion Cross's character on full display in a wonderful way. He starts off the backstage clip literally in full rage mode, just screaming, yelling, and knocking things over. But by the end of that single one minute, he's suddenly dancing and singing away. So it was a great moment that showed us just how mentally unstable this character is and why the other superstars should definitely be cautious when dealing with this dangerous duo. Some fans even say that they got serious vibes of the Joker and Harley Quinn from this moment between Cross and Scarlet. The Joker has always been known for having some pretty chaotic and outrageous plans that no one could stop him from or talk him out of. But there is one person that can alter Joker's mind and get him to reconsider different circumstances, and that's Harley Quinn. So that same similar dynamic is happening here with Cross and Scarlet. Scarlet definitely appears to be the Harley Quinn to Cross's Joker. Being able to be the only one to manipulate his mind and thoughts and get him out of that wrong path very quickly. Just like what we saw in this segment where Scarlet completely flipped Cross's mood in under 60 seconds. So everyone thinks it would definitely would have added more depth to their characters and stories if this backstage clip was shown on the broadcast of SmackDown. But either way, it looks like Scarlet has restored Cross's faith and motivation with this new fire that she has lit under him. So we'll see what that new plan for dealing with Bobby Lashley turns out to be. Like we constantly been discussing during the build-up to the main events of WrestleMania 40, the theme of trust continues to be a reoccurring focus of the stories. Some fans feel like The Rock can't be trusted and is waiting for the perfect time to strike Roman Reigns. Other fans feel like maybe Roman will pull off what Bailey did a few years ago to Sasha Banks and strike first on The Rock, strictly due to the paranoia of thinking that The Rock was out to get him. And on the other side of the ring, some fans feel like Seth Rollins still can't stand Cody Rhodes for several different reasons, and how Seth is always waiting for the perfect opportunity to betray Cody. And also entering the talk of betrayal within this main event scene in recent weeks has been Jey Uso. So as you can see, it's a very complicated situation that sets up a lot of different potential game-changing betrayals surrounding these big superstars. A lot of fans have discovered what they're labeling as another potential hidden hint about even more trust issues. 
During the closing moments of the March 22nd edition of SmackDown, Jey Uso comes up from the crowd to stand alongside Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins to balance out the odds between them and the bloodline. Roman looks at Jey Uso, acknowledges that he's there, doesn't say a word to him, but fans notice that if you pay attention to Roman's gestures and the meaning behind it, he actually did communicate something to Jey Uso. Roman looks at Jey Uso and taps on his own chest several taps while looking at Jay, reason being that Roman was trying to get Jay to pay attention and read the words that were on his hoodie. Roman was wearing his merchandise hoodie that included the phrase, family above all, on the front graphic. So when Roman is tapping on this graphic on his hoodie in Jay's direction, he was trying to get Jay to read that message and truly have him thinking about what he's doing at that very moment in time. Jay is standing on the right side, we know Roman and the Bloodline are evil forces, but Roman, being a massive manipulator, is trying to get Jay to read that message on his hoodie and feel bad about the side he's standing on. Roman is basically telling Jay, within that moment of gesturing to his hoodie, how dare you? It's family over everything, and you're standing across from us. Just the same tactics that Roman has perfected over the last few years. Just trying to spin the narrative and get inside Jay's head to make him reconsider everything he's currently doing. And Jay did see Roman's hoodie graphic because Jay's facial expression did change once he read the hoodie. So the message Roman was trying to send to Jay was delivered, but we'll just have to see if it'll actually affect Jay and make him change his way of thinking. Like we spoke about a few weeks back, Jay really didn't make any mention of missing Roman Reigns and day-to-day -day operations of the bloodline. But one thing Jay admitted to was that he missed his brother, Jimmy. So with Jay already missing Jimmy and having that vulnerability there, on top of Roman now trying to get back inside Jay's head, will it be enough to crack Jay again and get him to fall back in line? Jay Uso has always been a pivotal part of the bloodline and Roman's historic title reign for that matter. Jay was Roman's first opponent during his historic title reign and was also Roman's first right-hand man to get the bloodline really going all those years ago. So you do have to wonder that if we're about to see another major moment for Roman Reigns in the bloodline, it just feels like Jay Uso should play a big role in that moment in some way. So Jay was already on the list of potential betrayals to begin with, but now with Roman trying to brainwash Jay again right in front of all of us on WWE television, with that hidden message, that has fans keeping an even closer eye on Jay Uso. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.